Mr. Joker, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I see you have an extra face on. Is that to avoid the nerd flu? Yes, pretty much. These damn nerds are always asking me questions. So I just decided to put on my own face to hide from people, you know. So. Very handsome. Thank you. Have a good con, Mr. Joker. All right, we're here with the one and only Dark Knight. Mr. Batman, do you have any regrets leaving the Mask of Zorro in the middle of the second act? Oh, why you gotta say that, man? Come on. <laughs> How does it compare to Dark Knight Returns? Dark Knight Returns? Uh, I'm not sure because it's been a while since I've watched it, but I could see how some people may compare them both. But I would have to give Mask of Zorro one more watch. Gambit and Rogue. Let's start with Rogue. You uh, you famously stole Miss Marvel's powers. What's it like to have her spirit inside of your brain? Well, I can thank Xavier for uh, helping limit the interactions we have inside, but um, I will say the stronger personality won, and I'm sorry for what I did to her, but the I, I'm trying to do good with her powers in honor of her, so. Gambit, in the wake of the Me Too movement, are you worried about allegations that you've been harassing your fellow mutants? I don't know if I'd call it harassment, but I know that my share was certainly love a uh, queen of hearts for the day. We're here with uh, Agent Peggy Carter and uh, Captain Rogers. Uh, starting with you, Peggy, how do you feel about Mr. Rogers coming back to the past and not saying hello? Ooh. <laughs> hello. Oh. Are you aware that he came back to the past? Not until he met me back in the house. Do you consider yourself a patriot? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everyone's a patriot who serves his country. Is that even a question? How do you respond to fans who are worried that you started a civil war? You know, I think that's a little over dramatic. I say that no matter what, you have to stand with your beliefs, stand for what you believe for, and find the people who agree with that, and make sure you back them up in every way. Unfortunately, part of being patriot, <laughs> being a patriot, has consequences that you don't see until later on. But I would say anybody, anybody that is attracted to the Captain America character has uh, the patriot soul in, in them and everything. It's, it's that no one's attracted to this character unless they they truly believe in like justice and honor and integrity. And I, every person I've met that wears this uniform. Freaking fully embodies that. And, and, and we all have great asses. America's ass. America's ass, ladies and gentlemen. America's ass. All right, we're here with legendary dream stalker Freddy Krueger. Mr. One and only, baby. <laughs> Mr. Freddy, who haunts your nightmares? Oh, that Justin Bieber. Terrifying. <laughs> Mr. Doompole, any chances for open elections in Latveria next year? You know, uh, a lot of people are having discussions about the oil spill that I had caused because of my powers and, you know, no comment as of how I'll fix that, but I do plan on running next year, yes. I can safely say that is a foul rumor. They do not need elections. I have already won. We're here with the infamous Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, what is it like now that Tony Stark is dead to be the most handsome Avenger with a goatee? Can't complain anything about it. I was the only one with the goatee now, so I'm cool. I thought I always was, personally. You know, it feels pretty good. For a while there, there was a, a good amount of competition, but since I, I chose that one future out of 14,605, I secured the number one title. No shit, Sherlock. Deadpool, starting with you. How do you respond to the rumors that your third movie will in fact be PG-13? Fuck that. Do you really think that? PG? Never. Fuck them! That's not groovy, man. It's not groovy. Um, not if I fucking have anything to do with that. Well, the mouse on top said it has to be. What can I say? I'm only an employee. As long as we don't get Schneider, everything should be fine, honestly. Is there any hopes for an R rating? I'm trying to convince the mouse. I'm bringing some cheese. I'm bringing some over some other laces from other places so we'll see what can happen no fucking mouse is gonna tell me what to do and uh domino how do you respond to him saying that your powers are not cinematic my powers are
Jackson as cinematic. Without him, he's nothing. Great to see you, Joker. How does it feel to be replaced by a newer model? <laughs> Mr. J, is this your first time hearing the news? Yes, it is actually. Yeah, we're done. What the hell? Sorry. The more the better. Yeah, give me a minute. Time for another one. <laughs> Mr. Joker, how do you respond to fans who think your your movie might be dangerous for viewers to see? Oh. I don't think it's that bad. Fake news. Fake news. It's not dangerous. <laughs> More murderers in real life, not in movies. It's just about a regular guy having a bad day. You should go watch it. Is it true that you're an incel? No. Uh, say that one more time? Are you an incel? An incel. I can spell it, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so, you lay the pipe. Don't. Let's not talk about that. Yes, quite a bit. So you are indeed laying the pipe. That's Mario's job. Is it true that you are just a carbon copy of your much taller and handsomer brother? No comment. I love being drunk on a mountain in a hot tub. I, I love being drunk on a mountain in a hot tub. I, I, I...